Yo, what's up guys? It's Burden here and in this video I'm going to talk about the engineer changes that came with the September 9th patch. Now I put a lot of playtime into the engineer in the last day to familiarize myself with the changes so I can give you guys a really good opinion of the changes to the class. Now ArenaNet's goal with the engineer for this patch was to increase build diversity by changing some of the utilities and improving some of the weapon kits. Now the first change that we could talk about is Power Wrench. That is a trait in the master tier in the tools trait line. And basically what they did was before Power Wrench used to apply cripple with your wrench attacks in your toolkit. Now your toolkit automatically applies cripple on your wrench attacks. And Power Wrench will increase your base damage of toolkit abilities by 10%. So they're trying to put more power into the toolkit. And toolkit still has a few conditions like bleeding and confusion. So I wonder if there's an opportunity there for a celestial style build because the wrench actually does hit quite hard if you are in a power build. The pry bar can hit for like three, five or four thousand and it does apply five stacks of confusion. So yeah, I really do wonder if there's a chance for a celestial build uh, taking advantage of the toolkit. The second change that came to the engineer is Elite Supplies. Now, Elite Supplies is a master trait in the Inventions trait line. Now, Elite Supplies used to give Elixir X an increased duration. And the problem with that is that you usually have to leave it early anyway because you're taking a lot of damage and you have to get to your skills to heal up. So now it gives you a plus movement speed. And I used Elixir X a lot while I was PvPing this past day. And I gotta say that... There are good parts of Elixir X and they're bad, and that's mostly which one you get. If you get Rampage and you're on a point in a power build, Rampage is actually a great uh, elite, I think. But if you get Tornado, I just feel Tornado is completely useless, especially when you compare it to Rampage. So there's a lot of randomness in the elite, and I would only consider bringing Elixir X if they actually got rid of a lot of that randomness. And plus, it's just, it's so hard to not pick up Supply Crate as your elite. Supply Crate is just an awesome elite. The next change is Accelerant Pack Turrets, which is a trait in the Adept tier in the Explosives trait line. Now, Accelerant Pack Turrets was a very popular trait choice for decap NGs because they can, uh, when the turrets get destroyed, it knocks the target off of the point and they can decap the point. Now, they decrease the knockback distance of this trait by... Uh, well, it used to be 300, now it's 150. So the knockback distance is still uh, fairly far. I don't think it's going to nerf the decap bendies too hard, but there's definitely going to be a chance that the target doesn't get knocked off of the control point. So perhaps they won't be as effective, but I really don't think it's going to hurt the decap NGs too much. Staying on the subject of turrets, the rocket turret got a buff. The velocity of the rocket is increased by 50%. And the, the missile now tracks targets as well, so it's going to be much more reliable on hitting targets, which is a great thing because the rocket turret actually hits like a truck. Now we get to talk about one of my favorite changes to the engineer in this patch, and that is the buffs to the flamethrower weapon kit. Now before we talk about the buffs, you still have to remember that there are two major flaws with the flamethrower. The first one has to do with retaliation. Because flamethrower attacks so many times with just this flame jet, you will take a ton of uh, retaliation damage. You take almost as much damage attacking somebody with retaliation as you are doing to, to them. So that is kind of a big deal that needs to be fixed sometime in the future. And the second one, which could be a personal view, but if a player has stability on them, it becomes very difficult to use the flamethrower because you aren't allowed to use any of the CC on the flamethrower. And using a flamethrower, you are usually very close to melee range because the range is fairly short. And you are fairly squishy, at least the way I play it. Trying to fight somebody with stability can be very difficult, but the damage on the flame jet has been increased by 33%. The detonate flame blast is now a blast finisher. Having a blast finisher on a weapon usually increases that weapon's viability. Air blast, the skill is now more visible when used. It's a lot like the pin down changes when they had to put a little bit of animation on it so people can dodge. And the attack of this skill has been delayed by around 0.25 seconds, just giving it a little more chance for other players to be able to dodge your air blast. 
The last one is Napalm. This skill now delivers a damaging attack on each pulse, but the damage is quite low. It's almost negligible. It's so low. But nonetheless, it's actually really great to see the Flamethrower Weapon Kit being buffed. It's a weapon that I find very fun, and when I was out PvPing with it to see the changes, I had a ton of fun and actually had quite a bit of success. So you might be seeing a Flamethrower Engineer build coming from us in the near future. Now there are a lot more little changes to the Engineer. None of them are very flashy, but we will go through them real quick. They are very solid changes. The Toss Elixir C, which is the tool belt skill for Elixir C, the radius has been increased, and I love this because it was always so fiddly trying to toss such a small radius uh, of that skill. So the radius is going to be increased, making it easier for you to remove conditions on yourself and allies. The launch personal battering ram has had its damage increased by 20%, but it's yet to be seen if it's still worth it or not to leave that out of a build. Utility goggles, the tool belt skill, uh, Analyze. This skill now places 6 seconds of reveals on the target in, in addition to vulnerability, making it a very good counter to thieves because 6 seconds out of stealth for a thief is a big deal. The antidote on the medkit will now remove immobilized if you are immobilized and use it so you don't just drop it a few feet away from you then you can't pick it up. The glue shot on the offhand pistol, the projectile velocity has been increased by 50%. The AED heal. When you take a lethal blow, will not just heal you, but also remove all damaging conditions on you as well. So those are most of the changes for the Engineer. Make sure you leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite change was. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and like this video. And make sure you check out the rest of our content. Thanks for watching, guys.